Hey, what's up guys? It's Mirai. Welcome back to my channel. You might be wondering, Mirai, why are you wearing something so weird, you know? <laughs> I recorded two videos today, but I can only push out one video today. So for the other one, it's probably going to be uploaded on Friday. And that's going to be me wearing this in my school. So I hope you guys are excited for the video, but for now, Let's get into this video. Now recently, I found out there's a website, you know, Wikihow. I think everyone knows Wikihow actually. But Wikihow made a post called How to Act Tsundere or Tsundere. It depends how you want to read it. Tsundere? Tsundere. Tsundere is actually the correct pronunciation, but for now, let's just go with Tsundere. Because that's, like I said, that's what people call it. Alright, first of all, let's just look at it. In Japanese media, most commonly anime and manga, a tsundere is someone, usually female, who acts like they don't care for another person, but actually has a softer side. Softer side. Softer side. If you want to learn how to act like a tsundere, this is the article for you. Whee! Now, personally, I dealt with one of a tsundere in high school. So, you know, I kind of have a little bit, just a little bit, I'm not going to say I'm expert, but I'm going to have a little bit experience with real life tsundere and trust me, it's terrible. You don't, you don't want it. Sunere's only looks cute in anime. In real life, shit's fucked. However, in 2D, boy, I'm expert in Sunere. Put the music on! Love Life, Maki. That's a Sunere. Nisekoi, Kirisaki Chitoge. That's a Sunere. Stains Gate, Maki Sekurisu. That's a Sunere. Asuka from Evangelion. That's a Sunere. Eriri, Spencer Sawamura. That's a Sunere. The anime I keep talking about, Toradora, Taiga. That's a Sunere. Rin from Fate Stay Night. That's a Sunere. That's right, we have so many Sunere in the world, and that is not the end. There's like still so many Sunere's out there. If you want me to go on, it could be like 10 minutes just me listing anime Sunere. But uh, that's not the point. The point of the title, how to Sunere. So let's go back to Wikihow. Let's see how it goes, man. Looking Sunere. Method number one. You have to look like a Sunere. Mirai, how do I look Sunere? Let's take a look as well because I don't know. Like, actually, this is my first time looking at this. Dress in expensive looking clothing. Supreme! Supreme, 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 Supreme Gucci! Supreme. Supreme. Expensive clothing brand. Top 10 most expensive clothing brands in the world. Chanel. Wait, is it Chanel? Google Translate is gonna help me again. Alright, let's see how do we read the word C H A N E L. Chanel. Let's take a listen again. Chanel. Let's take a listen again. So, ladies, you wanna act Sunere? Wear Chanel. Burberry. Wear some Burberry. Dior. Is it Dior or Dior? Sorry, man, my English isn't the best, but you know, I'm trying to learn while making videos. Dior. Dior! Where is some Dior? Let's see how do we read Dior in Chinese. Dior. <laughs> Dior. Dior. Let's just continue. Method number two. Let's take a look. Hair for your hair. It's common for Sundares to have long hair. Common, yeah. Pretty common. Maki has short hair though. Sometimes queen tails. Eri is a queen tail Sundare. Third point. Consider dressing like a certain Sundare. If there's a Sundare in particular that you have a liking for, check out their clothing and hairstyles. Just like how I cosplay Ram. <laughs> Can we just end the video? <laughs> Holy moly! Wiki stuff actually knows their stuff. Check out Jetai Ryoiki if you wear skirts or shorts. A common trait for Tsundere girls is to wear tie high. You know, you know they wear, oh sh you know, like they wear stuff from here until. Hold on, it's hard to explain. But like, to explain. Using my ties, the girls wear some like from here, they pull it up until here. You know, just here, right? They don't they not all, not all. This part is very important, this part right here. Take this zip as an example. So you got this right here, and the sh the tie high is gotta be like here. So you can see like this part. That part is the holy part. That part right there, it's blessed. Being slightly aggressive and displaying a don't mess with me attitude will get the message across. Well, that looks more like you are trying to stray the man away. It, it only looks nice in anime. Oh boy, this is the one I hate the most. Be harsher towards your crush. They may play hard to get. This is where shit went down. You see, in anime, we as a viewers, we are a third person. As a Sunere, the male character, and we, you know, we are the viewers. We look at them at both directions. So this Sunere, in our eyes, we're like, oh, that's very adorable, that's cute, haha. <laughs> but the main character suffered the most. And this is a story about me. Few years ago in high school, there is a girl. 
I don't want to say her name. She treat me like she doesn't like me. She hate me. I'm fine. I'm fine with that. I guess at the end, I kind of just gave up on her. Like, all of a sudden, she's like, Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be doing that. Um, like, oh, I, I thought you can't, I thought you like Sundere. It's a, it's a terrible experience. Let's just put it that way. Once again, like what I explained, when we as a third party, when we look at the Sundere and the male character, it's adorable. But when you are in the same shoes as the male character, that's when things go terrible. If you and the girl is already together and she wants to play Sundere with you, maybe that's fine. Like, you know, people with different fetish. Okay, I just realized the list is actually really long. What the hell? But I think I cover most of the important part in this video. So yeah, this is how to act Sundere presented by WikiHow. So in conclusion, Sundere is nice in anime. Are they nice in real life? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> if you do, be sure to drop a like, it really means a lot. Just click that like button and I'll see you guys in the next video.